Okay, we're going to do a demonstration of camera calibration using my mobile phone to calibrate my laptop webcam. So the instructions on the course say we run barred video calibration with this config file. I've looked on Google Images. I found myself a suitable chessboard. So my chessboard is 8 by 5 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So we're only counting the internal corners. It's on Google Images. Uh, looks like uh, courtesy of Mark Headley Jones. So thank you very much. So now, if we put this in front of my webcam and press C, OpenCV detects the chessboard. It's actually launched a second window. So I'll move to one side and it the second window shows you the points that it discovered. I can then continue. I need at least five pictures currently to do a calibration. And the aim is to do different rotations and translations and get a selection of data. So let's go like as close as possible maybe. Yep, yeah. and then we'll angle it a bit angle this way, angle this way, angle that way, and angle this, let's do a few more that way, angle that way, and that way, and let's see how far back. Right, so I've done nine frames and it tells me my reprojection error is 0.15. It actually triangulates between successive pictures and tries to measure the error in 3D if you are triangulating, but we'll leave that for now. But you see here the intrinsic parameters uh, as described on the OpenCV website. So this would be called CX. It's this principal point in the X direction, principal point in the Y direction. And this is essentially the focal length multiplied by pixel scaling and then these are your five distortion parameters which should all be fairly closely to fairly close to about zero right i'll also just while i'm here i shall also generate some rubbish data so if i come too far away from the camera see the picture on the left you'll notice it kind of messed up. So once you've got these bad points, these points are not discovered in the correct location. The calibration is now noticeably worse. So don't go too far away. Similarly, if I go really close, well, if I, if I don't show the whole chessboard, it says failed to detect points. So as long as I've got all the chessboard, it should be okay. And so the main problem with this method is, I guess, being too far away. Let's see if we can be at an angle. I see that one worked. You really want as much angle as you can get whilst the feature detector still works. Let's just see what happens if we put it vertically instead of horizontally. Still look like it works. Fair enough. And the other one I suppose is if you make it blurry. So let's let's see if we can try and capture whilst I'm moving. See that detected the points but we know it's a blurry image. So if you put loads of blurry images in you're only going to get poor calibrations. So that should be enough for a demo.